This day feels like a return to positivity. I was just in D.C. and I came back early because I wanted to be, well, at work, but among friends. And I just noticed in D.C. and here, it's a love fest. Like, people just seem less cynical. So there's that. And then I was very struck by his speech. Obama does not seem afraid. And I'm sure some of that is just his innate leadership ability. But he took on everything in that speech. So being positive and lacking fear are the two things that this day was meaning to me, and I didn't expect that. Well, of course, I've seen a lot of elections, and I've seen a lot of promises, and I've seen a lot of things come on. The most important thing to me is that there was somebody that came along, regardless of color, who could capture the spirit that's necessary to overcome all the negativity that we've been having in this country. Uh, I, I like to see, you know, a lot of the hatred go away, even especially about President Bush. I mean, we talk about people as though they're just, you know, I, I just love to see someone who come along and really do a good job of uniting this country, really without hatred. And maybe that's a tall order to ask, but, but he certainly seems to have started, he certainly captured the, the American spirit. So I'm, I'm looking forward, I, I love his references to our forefathers and the sacrifices that they had to pay. And just like his father had to pay too, you know, so yeah, especially as a white person in America, it, this is obviously a, a momentous occasion. So I'm really, really happy about that and, and I'm so glad. I'm, I'm waiting for the next one. And the next one, of course, is the American Indian. But hopefully he'll pass the legislation that will allow that to happen. It's a great day. I believe Barack Obama is probably going to be a very good president. It's going to take up some time. I know he won't fix the world in one day or even one term. But I think he's going to try his best. And I believe in a lot of things he says. And uh, it's a great day for me. I mean, I didn't live, you know, back when it was real, real bad. But it's been pretty bad. Uh, I just hope the world, you know, gets peace around the world. It's a really transforming experience, I think, for everybody to get to share and seeing something that we expected would never happen. And we all come from different backgrounds and have experienced the community in each in our own way. And I think this day gives us a sense that we can truly be one community. And so it, it creates, I think, a sense of uh, closeness and common purpose, unlike we've ever experienced before uh, in our lives. Whether we've lived a short time or a long time, you can see that everybody's greatly touched by this. And especially for those who have been around a long time, people in their 70s and 80s in particular, who really know how different um, society was. And we get to see with this uh, event today, uh, a real landmark in uh, social development. So it's, it's, it's wonderful. Well, the first thing is about, I remember I couldn't even sit in a place like this. Because I'm old time, old school. The back of the bus. I remember even when the hose was shot on me. And the dog chased me around the corner just for being in a place where I shouldn't have been. I remember my mother. Couldn't even drink water. Oh, it's the day. But she's one of us that got that from So it's been a long time coming. I just wish my dad was here to be able to see this. But I know he's seen it because he's seen it through me, through my eyes. And that's a good part of it. Just a beautiful thing, real beautiful. Stay away from my 40 acres and a mule, but <laughs> this is just as good. Just as good.